Hey, Andrew, Good. what's going on, you? buddy? Hey, we're uh, standing right in front of Marlena's right now. Uh, you know, obviously, this is uh, what it looks like when the uh, when the state of Michigan's in business of putting out of, putting small business out of business. You know, Gosh. which here, let me ask you this: nobody gave the, the the authorization for for them to come onto her premises and board it up. Correct? They just boarded it up for her. Am I so? Am I- so yeah, my understanding is is some supporters uh, in uh, some other people boarded it up to uh, to make her complicit with the uh, with the orders of the court. Um, they're hoping to get her out, I guess, of jail on Friday is my understanding. But um, the uh, the attorney general wanted to make sure that the place was boarded up and closed up and out of business for uh, for compliance, apparently. And I, and I think it's funny, Andrew, because like since you, you're the one who really kind of put this at the forefront for me, you you actually shared with me this whole story before it actually hit the news. I think there was a Vimeo video that you shared about her story. She's an immigrant. Can you kind of tell us about her a little bit? Because yeah, her yeah, story is so, pretty blow away. Yeah, no. So she's uh, she's an immigrant of uh, Poland. Uh, 1983, she escaped Poland and uh, became a citizen uh, in 1992 of, of the United States. Um I don't know exactly when she bought the restaurant. I know it used to be called the salad bar. Um, a lot of people locally remember it being the salad bar, but she she purchased it. And uh, it might, I believe it's about 20 years is is, is what I believe. Uh, I read somewhere is that it was 20 years she's had this business. So um, she's open from typically 6 to 2 in the afternoon. She doesn't do supper or anything like that. But, um, so yeah, she... She's now facing 93 days in jail uh, or until the state's assured that her business is closed down, you know, uh, and then a $7,500 fine on top of probably another $30,000 fine is, is 30000 plus. I, I um, want everyone to understand, too, this is because she kept her business open through COVID. Yeah. Not, not, right. not selling drugs, not, not, not a pedophile, nothing like that. No murder involved. She kept her business open during COVID. Right. Thank you, Wittmer. You're right. Right. So she's, um, yeah, she's, she's, she's facing jail time for that. You know, meanwhile, uh, you know, the headline should have been is Marlena stays open through this whole pandemic and has zero, absolutely zero cases of COVID. Uh, except for when she uh, she got, uh, I think she was uh, the last court case that she had, um, or when she was she's in in uh, contempt of court the last time they they brought up something that one person had supposedly came through and had it, but you know who that person was, who knows, you know. Yeah, I noticed that the the news articles tried to connect her to that but they they couldn't really do it because they have no proof or evidence whatsoever that it had anything to do with the restaurant and right it, right it's just it's interesting how everybody seems to be coming out of the woodwork to attack her from the government uh we were looking through some of the quotes that the judge had made you know she the, where was it um the judge had said ma'am this is not burger king as soon as that sign changes to Burger King, you can have it your way. Until then, you will not disrespect me in my courtroom. Right. Matt, you want to say why the judge had said that? Yeah, and basically what, Andrew, maybe you can help me with this, uh, because Evie just commented, she left Poland because of tyranny and socialism, Communism. and yet now she gets arrested in a republic. Mm-hmm. In a right. constitutional right. republic, she gets arrested. But, you know, the judge was asking her, you know, do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth? We got to understand, Marlena doesn't understand English very well. She's just she she's just trying to do her biz. She was trying to make a statement, and the woman just went off. This judge went off on her. Am I right on this? Because that was that video that was kind of shown on Michigan Live or M Live or whatever it's called. Right. If if you watch the video, it just makes your blood boil because it's just like, you know, you you got an innocent person here that's just trying to run her business, trying to serve people, and um, and you got the state cracking down on her and then treating her like a piece of crap, you know. Uh, if you ask me, the judge was the one that was was the you know the one out of out of tone. Yeah, this this judge said you have selfishly not followed the order, did not follow them for your own financial gain, and apparently for the publicity that comes with this. So now we're determining uh, the the intent behind there, um, and it's it's really frustrating for yeah. you to see this happening when all she was trying to do was stay open 
because it's her livelihood. Yesterday, um, actually, me and my wife drove by about, uh, I think it was around 9.30. Or no, I'm sorry. Maybe it was 8.30 or something like that. And um, there was already people starting to kind of file in the parking lot. They had an event at 3. And uh, by the time we got here at 3 o'clock, the place was well, from about here. I mean, it was just solid people here. This whole parking lot over here was just packed. Uh, and it was it, it was just all people. People parked down the road there. And there's a couple other businesses down there that allowed them to park over there. But it was just solid people. There was people along both sides of the road on the sidewalks. Um, there's actually another event tomorrow at 11 o'clock. The Michigan GOP is going to have a press conference here. Um, I don't know all the details of what they're going to be talking about, but um, they'll have a they'll have an event here tomorrow, so 11, 11 a.m. So, goodness. But yeah, hey. yes, yesterday they had a couple different uh, keynote speakers. Uh, three different candidates that are running for governor were here. Um, some other miscellaneous. Um, people that spoke and just a ton of support, a lot of, uh, a lot of American flags. Um, and, and, and I was amazed. There was a lot of people that I've never seen involved that I personally know that I've never seen involved in politics, uh, that brought their whole family with them that I was shocked to see them out here because, you know, they'll talk politics, but they've never really been as far as I know, involved in, you know, getting out, um, getting involved. And, and that's what it's going to take. It's going to take, more of us Americans to get out and, and not only just talk about it, but be involved. <laughs>